hey guys and welcome to this channel in this video we are going to download android studio from its official website and installing it on windows 11 the process is exactly the same for windows 10 so if you are using windows 10 you can follow the video we will also set up and configure virtual devices or create virtual devices and set up emulator to test our applications open your browser type android studio download developer.android.com this is the official website for android studio click on it Android Studio, the official IDE for Android app development, now accelerates your productivity with Gemini in Android Studio, your AI-powered coding companion. If you would like to check the new features of Android Studio, you can uh, scroll down. Click on download Android Studio. Accept the terms and conditions. Then click on download Android Studio. Wait for it to get downloaded. Open File Explorer and go to Download Folder. Double click on the file that you just downloaded. Say yes to do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Welcome to Android Studio Setup. Click on Next. Choose Components, Android Studio and Android Virtual Device. If you prefer to use your physical device as emulator for testing your application, you can uncheck this component. Click on Next. So this is the location where it will install Android Studio. So this is for all users. You can change it if you want, then click on next. Choose the start menu folder. It will create a folder in the start menu with the name Android Studio. You can change this name or you can leave it as it is. You can also say do not create shortcuts. I prefer to leave it as it is. Now click on install. Installation complete. Setup was completed successfully. You can click on show details. Here you see all the components that it downloaded and installed on your computer. Click on next. And check this start Android Studio. Click on finish. all apps click on android studio help improve android studio click on don't send welcome to android studio click on next install type standard or custom select it custom click on next so SDK component setup, you can click on every component and here you see that description. Android SDK, a collection of Android platform APIs, tools and utilities that enables you to debug, profile and compile your apps. It is helpful and useful to know this location. 
because if it does not automatically set the SDK location for your project is, then you have to set it manually. Otherwise, you will get errors. Click on next. Installing Android emulator hypervisor driver. Click on next. These are what it will install. Click on next. And here you have to select it manually, accept it. Click on finish. Now this is going to take a while. downloading components now click on finish welcome to android studio here at the left side you have some options click on customize here you can customize the user interface for example light theme the language and region, the font size, import settings, all settings. You can add plugins. Here you have some helpful links. Back to the project is, you can create a new project. You can open an existing project. You can clone a repository. Here you have more actions. You have virtual device manager where you can create and manage your virtual devices. You can create more virtual devices, for example, with different screen sizes. One virtual device for testing your application on small devices, on medium devices, and on large devices. And also another virtual device for testing your application on tablets. You can also create and manage your virtual devices directly from Android Studio. For now, close it. Here you also have SDK Manager. You can manage everything here. In case something goes wrong in the future, you can come here for troubleshooting and fixing the errors and problems. You can customize the editor in Android Studio, general code editing, UI tools, live edit, to do, appearance, system settings. Android SDK So knowing you have these options is very important Let us create a new project New project Select basic views activity Click on next Let us say we are going to create a game my first game here you can give your own domain name, in my case it is Akionus. You can change the path or the location. For example like this, in my case it is inside projectors, Android projectors. And I create here a new folder. Test game. So it is going to create inside this folder. The language you can choose Java or Kotlin. I prefer to use Java and the minimum SDK version. The minimum Android version that you want your application to run. 
I prefer Android 5 or API level 21. And build configuration language, it says Kotlin is recommended, but you can change it to Groovy DSL. Click on finish. When you run your project for the first time, it is going to take a while because it must download many files and packages. Under available devices, you have this virtual device. You can also pair your physical device using Wi-Fi. Now click on run. This is how this uh, template project looks like. You have two fragments. First fragment, and to the second fragment. Previous, next, previous, next. As you see, this virtual device does not look so good. So we should create a new virtual device that looks like a real physical Android phone. Click on device manager, click on wipe data, create virtual device, for phone, it is always a device that supports the play store, select the device that you like, I prefer to choose pixel 5, 6 inch, then click on next it automatically selected vanilla ice cream with api level 35 click on the download icon it is going to download 1.6 gigabyte files so it is going to take a while Now it is OK. Click on Next. You can change the name. You can change the release. A startup orientation, portrait, landscape, show advanced settings. Multicore, RAM. Click on finish, very nice. From here you can select the virtual device that you want. So I want the new virtual device that we have just created. Click on run to start it. Now this simulator looks like a real phone, so I prefer to use this. Here you have some buttons like you have on your phone. Here is our application, you can start it manually. and you can turn it off you can close it running device now it is off you can delete a virtual device you can cold boot you can edit you can duplicate you can wipe that data it is deleted
that's it guys you have successfully installed and set up android studio on your computer i hope it was helpful thanks for watching i have published many helpful tutorials courses tips tricks hacks that can help you with your career with your project with your studies and with your daily life so make sure to watch my other videos as well check out my channel you will find uh, many helpful videos enjoy and have fun learning take care and have beautiful times